the first one that we have here is version we can specify the version of the policy language that you want to use as a best practice use the latest version 12 10 17 version and we write json policies and that we will discuss in some time these are basically called a policy language and you're meant to write the policy in a certain way for it to be acceptable by iam next one is the statement we use this main policy element as a container for all the following elements you can include one or more than one statement in a policy this is something that we already know so this statement contains the elements the policy elements so as i already told you we have sid effect principal action resource condition so these are the policy element or the statement elements so next one is sid which is an optional element so sid is also called a statement id so here we can include an optional statement id to differentiate between your statements and this is optional but if you have multiple statements in your policy you can add a statement id or sid to differentiate the statements next is effect this is very important because by using effect you allow or deny permissions to indicate whether the policy allows or denies access and here if you write allow for this effect then only it will be able to grant permission for the resources to be used or operated and if you write deny the user will not be able to use the resources or the resource that has been mentioned as a part of the policy the next one is principle so a principle is a person or application that can make a request for an action or operation on a aws resource if you create a resource based policy you must indicate the account user role or federated user to which you would like to allow or deny access so let's suppose you are creating a policy for s3 bucket which can only be used by a principal user or account then you must provide the principal of that im user or an account so a principal is nothing but the amazon resource name that is arn that you already know about we will discuss that as well don't worry so you provide a arn as a value of the principal so principal is nothing but a person or an application that can make a request next if you are creating an im permission policy to attach to a user or role you cannot include this element because the principle is implied as that user or role and if you bind it to a particular user or service using the arn the whole purpose of this will be defeated in certain use cases so remember a principle is a person or application that can make a request for an action or operation on a aws resource if you are making a request as a user then you are the principle next is action it includes a list of actions that the policy allows or denies so you must first understand that with effect we tell the policy if it should allow or deny so effect tells the policy whether you should allow or deny but we also need to provide the information on what levels they should be able to perform the operation for that reason we use action as its name suggests you provide the list of actions like it should be able to either it should be able to read or write or delete or perform get request or put request all this is called an action for a particular policy so i'll give you an example here let's suppose the effect is allow and the action is to punch so if i am supposed to punch you i can only punch you if the effect for me is allow which allows me to punch and the action is mentioned that you can punch so action is you can punch and effect is allow then only i can punch you so if the effect is deny and the action is you can punch then i cannot punch you because the effect is telling me that the policy does not allow me to punch you so you must understand it in that way so one is the effect which actually allows or denies the request and the other one the action is telling you what action you can perform the next one is resource now that you know how we are performing the operation or how we are allowing the operation or denying the operation so if you create an iam policy you must also specify a list of resources to which the actions apply uh, and if you create a resource based policy this element is optional if you do not include this element then the resource to which the action applies is the resource to which the policy is attached for example you want to operate on a s3 bucket then you will provide the s3 bucket arn as its resource so a resource is an object that exists within a aws service example include an ec2 instance and i am user and an amazon s3 bucket so the principal is the one requesting the action 
and resource is the one on which the action is going to be performed. I hope you got the difference here. I'll give you the example, same example again. Let's suppose I am going to punch you. So I am the principal. You are the resource. The effect will be allow and the action will be punch. So if these four conditions are satisfied, that policy will allow me to punch you because I am the principal who is making the request. You are the resource on which we are going to punch and the action will be punch and the effect will be allow. If the effect is deny, then I cannot punch you. The next is condition. There is also an optional element because at certain point or policy, we want to add conditions so that it applies to a certain specific condition level or a certain specific use case. But a condition specifies the circumstances under which the policy grants permission. And that is why I said it is going to satisfy a specific condition. So let's suppose you want to check if this request actually comes from a certain IP range. Then you can add a condition with IP address with a particular CIDR block. When you add that condition, you know that every request that is going to come is going to come from that particular IP CIDR block or every request that comes from any source will actually check whether that request comes from that particular IP range. And if it does, then only it will allow it or deny it. So let's see this example here. This is a resource based policy. Don't worry about what a resource based policy is right now. Just look at this example which has explicitly deny all principles except for the ones specified in the condition element. So you are denying all principles. Let's suppose you have 10 members in your class and you want to allow or you want to deny everyone uh, from accessing the resource other than the one mentioned in the condition. First thing is version. As I already told you, specify the version of the policy language that you want to use. As a best practice, we use the latest 2012-10-17 version. Next one is statement block. Here we have only one block of statement enclosed within curly brackets and within this statement block we write our policy. So this is our policy. The first one that we have here is the SID. It's the optional value but we have given it a string called uh, use principal ARN instead of not principal with deny. So this is another way of defining a principal. Don't worry about this. Just remember that that is a string and we have given it as a SID. Next is effect which is deny. So you're denying the permission. So effect is deny. Remember that. Next is the principle, which is star. Star means you are allowing all principles. Just think about this. You have the effect deny and the principle is saying that it is for all the principle. So till this point, the uh, policy is telling that deny all access to all the principles. On what action? S3. So S3 star, which means it has access to all the bucket operations. So you can, so all these principles which are denied access had the action that they could perform on all the S3 bucket operations. And what is the resource on which they could perform the operations is basically a bucket name slash star. That is a bucket name and the bucket name itself. The first one is for the object level access and this is one for the bucket level access. So bucket name slash star and bucket name. And last but the most important part comes the condition block. Here you can see we have a condition block called ARN not equals within which we have the key as AWS colon principal ARN and within that we have the ARN of that particular user or the particular principal and ARN colon AWS IAM the account ID colon user slash username. Let's suppose this is your username. If ARN not equals to this particular username deny access okay because that effect is denied so this condition tells us is that all the principle except the one that is in the condition block doesn't have access and that is why it's denied as you can see here we have the park model and that is why i had mentioned that if you create a resource based policy you must indicate the account user role or federated user to which you would like to allow or deny access i know at this point, you may not have clear idea on what this type of policies are and that's what we are going to discuss next and I'll tell you how you can identify them.